Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and as promised, well, we're going to talk about slow flight now in the dirty configuration, meaning with flaps. I shared in yesterday's video, slow flight in the clean configuration, how important slow flight is as a maneuver. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with flaps. More importantly, how to recover and how to take those flaps out because remember, you're still being graded on that recovery. Let's go ahead and jump up to the cockpit. All right, guys, uh, back with you as promised. I'm going to show you now. Yesterday we shared slow flight in the clean configuration. Today I'm going to show you guys slow flight in the dirty or landing configuration, meaning we're going to add flaps to the equation. So north is my heading, 3,000 feet is my altitude. Clearing turns already accomplished, but you know, I still sure like looking. Uh, everything looks good. Now we're going to start just like we did uh, yesterday with that. We're going to bring that carb heat on. We're going to smoothly bring that power back. When I say power back, I'm talking 1,700, 1,600 RPMs. It's going to vary from airplane to airplane. The important thing is I'm going to start slowing down and be able to adjust that nose without causing it to climb. Now, there's two schools of thought with the flaps. You can baby them in 10 degrees at a time like I just did there. But what I like to do is I just dump them in. Let's just get it over with. Let's dump these flaps in and compensate. Now this is, that's a little bit more advanced. You can always just baby them in, but I like to get them in and then just make my adjustments from there. So that's all good. Flaps are in, throttle settings good. Trimming up just a hair. Hear that stall warning horn around the brink of that stall. Notice that the pitch up isn't as high as it was yesterday on the dirty configuration, or the clean configuration, is it? No, because we have those flaps. Those flaps are creating drag, yet still generating that lift. I got a little bit of a descent going on. What am I going to do? I'm going to add some power. Why? Because we talked about this. We pitch for airspeed. We power for altitude. I need to still give it some more power. It is a Florida day. I'm almost back in the green arc on my RPMs. I can turn that carburetor heat off. That'll give me some more RPMs. I need to give it some power. It's summertime in Florida. We need to give it some power here. Still holding my north heading. Making some adjustments here with the trim. And again, guys, basically going just about hands-free with it. I got a little bit of a climb going on now, but just about hands-free with everything here. Now, the same is true. You're going to be asked to do some turns. Ailerons, look, again, not very effective. If I need to make a turn, I'm simply just going to, let's turn to 330 here. Hardly any aileron, a little bit of left pedal, a little bit of left rudder, work my way over. Adjusting that nose, remembering horizontal component of lift, might need to give it a little bit of power in that case. I'm working my way over. So coming around to a 330 heading here and rolling it back out and holding it, holding my 3,000 feet. Everything's looking good. Airspeed's looking good. You look straight down, it's like we're a helicopter. We're going to start logging rotorcraft time here pretty soon because we're just hanging. Now, the recovery is super important again. Why? Because you're still being graded on your recovery for a check ride. So here's how it works. Flaps come out in increments, just like a power off stall that we've demonstrated before. Carp heat is in already. I'm going to apply full power. I'm going to lower that nose, and I'm going to take the flaps. In this case, I have 40 degrees of flaps. I'm going to take them right to 20. Flaps to 20, and I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to build up my airspeed. Once I get through 70, I'm going to take my flaps to 10. I'm through 70, flaps coming to 10. And once I establish a positive rate, or at least zero, on my vertical speed indicator, and I have that, I'm actually climbing here, I'm going to go ahead and bring those flaps up and out. And bring my throttle back to a nice cruise RPM setting, just like that. And let's get us tripped up a little bit better here, and we're all set from there. Slow flight, guys. Yesterday we did the dirty, or the, or I'm sorry, yesterday we did the clean configuration. Today's the dirty or landing configuration. Watch both those videos. If you guys have any questions, any comments, don't hesitate to reach out to myself. Listen, if you guys love these videos, if you think these videos are great, if you love the way I teach and it really jives with you guys, you're going to love the online ground school. After this video, you'll see a quick little ad. I'll show you and tell you more about it. But you can go to groundschoolacademy.com to check that out. Uh, learn more. Over 400 videos. Um, taking you from knowing nothing about an airplane all the way up through private, through instrument pilot, everything you guys need to have, groundschoolacademy.com. you like these videos, you're going to love those videos, so check that out. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. I can't wait to read your comments. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.
Hey there, if you think this video was good, you're going to love the over 400 other videos inside our exclusive members only online ground school. Ground School Academy members enjoy weekly live webinars, mock check rides and customized written test prep. Ground School Academy members not only have access to the number one rated online ground school, but also the best guarantee in the industry. Pass your check ride or we'll pay for it. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more and become an online ground school member today.